With the rain season around the corner for Harting residents, here with a quick tutorial about aquaplaning, how to avoid it if possible, and what drivers can do when they do find themselves in an unavoidable aquaplaning situation. When driving on wet roads at high speed, a wedge of water can build up between the tyre and the road surface. The tyre loses contact with the road and the vehicle will no longer be responsive to steering inputs. The primary job of the tread pattern found on any road legal tyre is to disperse water. This ensures that the tyre can maintain a decent contact patch to the road and thus providing adequate grip and traction. Always inflate your tyres to the manufacturer's recommended pressures. Ensure that your tread depth is more than a minimum of 1.6 millimetres as indicated by the tread depth indicator. Replace tyres well before the 1.6 millimetre indicator is reached, as a deeper tread depth as on new tyres will minimise the possibility of aquaplaning. Reduce your speed as much as possible on wet roads. Higher speeds will increase the risk of aquaplaning. Always keep the steering wheel straight when hitting a puddle of water. If the wheel is turned, the vehicle will suddenly turn in that direction and could result in a loss of control. In all-wheel drive and front-wheel drive vehicles, always keep your foot on the accelerator as this will keep the vehicle in a straight line. In rear-wheel drive cars, you'll need to ease off the throttle. Always ensure that your vehicle's stability control is switched on as this will minimize the loss of control after aquaplaning. Most importantly, when traversing the wet roads in the upcoming months, make sure that your vehicle's tyres have substantial amounts of tread depth available, are inflated to the correct pressures, and reduce your speed in these conditions to avoid possible aquaplaning.